been in multiple years in the planning process and we're finally at the point where we're implementing the project on the ground. We'll, we'll be done probably within a week, so we're well over halfway uh, on the on the ground implementation of the project, which has been done completely by hand. We are not using any large heavy equipment uh, like we do on a lot of our other projects. So no bulldozers and dump trucks and excavators. As a result, that has huge benefits because there's a much smaller disturbance footprint. We have worked to try to implement and design projects um, which we call low-tech process-based restoration. So it's essentially creating wood structures that mimic log jams or beaver dam analog that mimic beaver dams to try to restore the ecological function of the streams that we're working in. Working with Anna Branch Solutions has really been a positive experience. We've had uh, a good working relationship for close to five years at this point. Their expertise on building these types of structures, at designing these structures, really knowing the ins and the outs, the research that has gone behind this type of work and the data that supports this type of work has been uh, really important for us in moving forward on implementing this style of project, which is pretty new for us in White Juice Creek. Uh, we have what are called PAL, stands for Post Assisted Log Structures. And those are large woody debris jam mimicking structures that are put into the stream and then basically stapled in place with wood posts to try to get them to stay put a little while longer. These structures are fish habitat enhancement structures and so they add complexity and diversity to the riverscape. Out on the floodplain we have beaver dam analogs, BDAs for short and they are beaver dam mimicking structures. The intent of those is to impound water and spread it out when it is available on the floodplain to uh, increase that residency time of water, to let it have longer term effect instead of just flowing right off the floodplain and back into the channel and out. Really exciting to see how much work these crews have been able to do in a really condensed amount of time this summer. We've completed all of the projected PALs and structures that were part of our goal for July. And I can't emphasize how proud I am. We've installed a lot of our bank attached PALs and come back the next day and seen gravel bars developing already. So it's a fast changing and quickly evolving stream that we're really, really grateful to have the opportunity to work in. It's quite fascinating to see how quickly the river is adapting. Getting to have a daily view of the creek it was already a privilege that I loved. And now with these changes, I think that it's only gonna get better. This project's really interesting. It's uh, the Willow Springs Preserve. It's owned by the Deschutes Land Trust. And um, Right off the bat, the Land Trust does an amazing job in outreach in working with all their neighbors on all their projects. And so it's just really important for the community as a whole, whether it's at the local school level, uh, whether it's at the city level, whether it's at the local homeowners associations in the vicinity to be aware of the work because we really see these projects as, as benefiting all of us. There have been communications through newsletters and also through the county permitting process as adjacent landowners that notified us that this was all going to happen. But they've been very open to questions directly about what the plan was and how it's going to impact us. And this has led to conversations with the uh, Upper Deschutes Watershed Council staff and the ability to view the plans for the project and the expected outcomes and ultimately gave me the opportunity to go down and tour with staff members. Can't tell you how appreciative I am and, and how in well informed I feel now. They have everyone's best interest in mind. You know, the common saying is your stream is uh, a report card for your watershed's health. And so every piece of land is part of that if you're in the white shoe drainage. I think the more involvement and the more interest put forth, the more you can get out of some of the processes that we're trying to encourage.